what do you do when all you've got is some eggs, some bacon, and leftover rice? Well, you make fried rice. This is breakfast for dinner, but better. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. And this is one simple recipe. We've got some bacon, we've got some eggs, and we have leftover rice. It just screams, make fried rice. With all fried rice recipes, it is really important to get all of your ingredients ready to go because the cooking part of it is actually really fast and really simple. I'm gonna start with half of an onion. And the smaller you cut up your onion, the faster it's gonna cook. So I'm gonna try to cut this into um, little pieces, minced, I guess, or just chopped, whatever you guys like. I find that chopped is better for the mouthfeel when everything's about the same size. I'm also using two green onions and I'm gonna chop up the white part so that I can cook it with the other onion because I like this part cooked more and the dark green parts I'm just gonna use as garnish. Two cloves of garlic that I'm just gonna chop up because, well, there's not much else going on. If you don't wanna chop it up, you can always run it through a a uh, garlic press, just chopping this up into, I guess, minced texture. And if you don't want to use garlic, you don't have to use garlic. Actually, you don't have to use any of the aromatics in here if you don't want to. It'll still be a delicious fried rice. I have a lot of fried rice recipes actually in my cookbook, Chinese Home Style. If you want to check those out, there are quite a few different flavor profiles in there. We've got like a pineapple fried rice. We have my usual simple uh, fried rice using Chinese sausages. Um, yeah, just check it out. You know, I want to say just use eight slices of bacon, but really, why stop at eight? There's only 11 slices in here, I counted earlier. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. You can just use eight slices if you want, but why keep three slices of bacon in the fridge? That makes no sense to me. You know, because... Okay, so I'm just gonna slice this up. So a package of bacon here is probably about three quarter pound. I'm using four eggs. And I'm going to lightly beat the eggs. And that's it. Now I'm gonna go get my wok and get started. Okay, setting my wok on medium high heat. And if you don't have a wok, you can always use a large frying pan to do the exact same thing. I like using a wok because it's big and I can stir all of my ingredients really easily. As soon as you see a wisp of smoke, it's hot enough, adding two tablespoons of cooking oil, I'm using corn oil today and adding my eggs. When your wok is nicely seasoned and when you add oil, when the wok is hot, things should not stick. You just want to cook your eggs until they are mostly cooked through, and then you can add it back to the bowl that you had the eggs in because you're just gonna put it back in the fried rice anyways, and it will cook through. Take a look at that, no sticking. Okay, adding the bacon. And we're gonna cook this through until the right doneness you like. I like mine kind of not too crispy, a little bit soft still, but you can cook it to the exact texture that you like. All right, I'm getting to the point of the texture I like, fully cooked bacon, tender, but not super crispy. I'm gonna push that aside. I'm gonna remove some of this fat. We shouldn't use all of it, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna 
leave the remaining bacon fat and adding my onions and the white and light green parts of the green onion right into the middle. I had turned down the heat to about a low. Let's turn it up a little bit. We want the onions to cook through. So maybe about two minutes, just until they are translucent. Okay, adding my garlic. And we only wanna cook that for about 30 seconds so until the garlic is fragrant. I wish you guys could smell this, so good. Mm -hmm. Bacon, onion, garlic, what's not to like? I am adding about four to five cups of leftover rice. And this is cold rice. I find that when it's leftover and cold, it's more dry and therefore can absorb more of the flavors of whatever you're cooking into the rice. When you use freshly cooked rice, the rice is moist, it doesn't absorb the flavor as much, and your rice will get mushy. So let's not do that. I'm just gonna move this around. And we want the rice to kind of separate into individual grains. And heat it through. I'm also adding two teaspoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster sauce, you can just substitute with soy sauce. So then that would be a total of four teaspoons of soy sauce. I'm just gonna stir this in. Try to break up some of these clumps of rice. And as the heat gets through the rice, it will just kind of naturally come apart. So that took about three minutes to just kind of get the rice separated from being in clumps. And now I'm gonna add my eggs back in and break it up. And if you wanted to add veggies to this, you totally can too. I'm choosing not to, we're gonna have veggies on the side but you can add a handful of peas. You can wilt some spinach in there or lettuce. And that is it. Are you all ready for? Yep. Ooh, can't wait. If you think this is a lot, that's not it. In this age of super increasing food costs, uh, when you can come across recipes that you can make and enjoy and have leftovers or even hope of a leftover, I mean, that's a win, that's for the win. So hopefully we'll be able to feed the four of us with enough leftovers for the kids for lunch. And what's not to like about bacon for lunch? All right, let's get some of this into the bowl. Oh, lovely. I don't know, for me, sometimes I like the bacon a bit more crispy, but it may not work within the context of fried rice because the textures may be a little bit too different, but the beauty of doing it at home is that you can do it however you like. It's a democracy when it comes to food. Mm. Oh, so good. The different textures. Bacon isn't very salty, this particular one, so it's good and the textures of the egg with the properly um, done rice, you know, not fresh rice. Oh, greens are coming apart. Just great mouthfeel and the flavors are fantastic. So breakfast all day. All right, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. Jude and I were at Costco today and you can't help but notice the cost of food continuing to rise. And so when we come across a recipe that we can help you save money and still get a delicious meal on the table, that is the goal. Say you don't have enough rice, you know what? Just add more stuff to make it a more filling meal. Or if you have lots of ingredients but you could eat some more, add more rice. It's really up to you. Check out my cookbook, 
Chinese homestyle for more fried rice recipes.